patch. Good. Come on, it's my hand there. It kind of helps control that just a little bit. All right, guys, we are here ready for Legends next session. Where we left off in this last session, he was just starting to get good at fetching off the table. I got one really, really good rep where my hand wasn't there. He reached, he fetched, he picked it up, he held it, we ended it. That was a very, very, very crucial and a very important timing thing to say that was exactly what we want. Good. Now, we've given him a couple days off because we were traveling a little bit to pick up our little black lab puppy and he is ready to move back to this. Now, typically, when we give dogs a little bit of time off, we see some pretty drastic changes in a good way. Usually it's, a, it's uh, you know more or less a time to decompress or a time just to relax a little bit, or it allows some of those things that we've been teaching to soak in. I hope we see that with him, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with him now. If this is your first time to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button down below so that you can continue to follow along with this guy's progress. Our table move just a little bit. Come on, bud. So keeping it moving to start this off. We'll do a quick hold. The other side of it that I wanna point out is this hold has gotten really, really good. Like I mentioned earlier, if you've got a good understanding, go ahead and move on to the fetch work. Fetch is going to really solidify your hold work because of the fact that they figure out through timing and reps that as soon as it comes out of their mouth, you're gonna ask them to fetch it again. That little bit of pressure really builds a strong understanding. They're like, it's easier if I just hold on to it. So you start to see that hold really, really, really improve. Now, we're gonna move in here. Get our toe hitch on. And we're gonna move right into a couple fetch wraps. This is the object that we left off with last time. This is one that he's been doing well with. So we're going to start with this and hopefully we'll be able to work through a couple different objects today. All depends on him. And that's what you have to do with every session. You can't have this, we're going to do this. You can have, we're gonna try and do this and then we'll see where we get. All right, buddy, fetch, good. Hold it, nice, fetch, nice. I'm gonna try and get to that table, good. And we're gonna try and get there without our hand. Fetch, whoop, fell off. Keeping a little bit of pressure on here, not a lot, but I want him to understand that even though it disappeared, he still needs to be thinking about how can I get that fetched? Uh, 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 uh. Let's not be sloppy. Fetch, fetch, uh, uh, uh. fetch, good. That was really good. Hands completely out of the way. He ended up pulling back a little bit. That's where you heard that small amount of vocalization. He's again putting more pressure on himself than I'm putting on him in a lot of these situations. Good. Fetch. He's still grabbing toward the end. This isn't the end of the world. This is gonna get better as we go, but it's a good grab. He had it down here on this end and you can see he's like almost fighting me a little bit for it. It was a tight grip. That's not the end of the world. Fix it a little bit. And with time, reps, it's gonna to continue to get better. I want you to back up a little bit, give him just a second to think, and then fetch. We'll ask for it. Fetch, right there. Good. That little bit of fix. We don't want any more than that one. That's the one, he gets away with that, as long as it doesn't become a problem. Good, but this is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and move like 900% better than where we left with the last session and nothing happened other than giving him some time off in between that last rep of the last session and what you just watched there. Now, he is doing well with canvas. He did well with the fire hose. He did well with the canvas. I'm going to move to a slightly more difficult object, which he personally has struggled with this. Some dogs really do well with these. These are the DT soft mouth trainers. We're gonna use these a lot in his training down the road. So it's important that he gets good with them, but at this point, it's been a little bit more of a struggle for him. So we're gonna try and work through that. And we'll see how many different objects we can try and work through today without pushing it too far. Go ahead here, fetch, fetch. Again, this is new. We're gonna build some momentum, fetch, good, fetch. 
Hold on to it. Good. Hold. Hold. Are you holding it? Yeah. Good. That. Nice. Ah. A little pressure here again. Back on. Fetch. Uh, 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 uh. Fetch. That's sloppy. A little pressure again here. Fetch. Good. Okay. Fetch. Good. Once well, my hand there, it kind of helps control that just a little bit. Back up. Fetch. Pick it up. Right here. Fetch. Good. Ah. Hold. We need to build momentum, keep working in the right direction, and then you also have to try and slow things down a little bit. This is this hold session here in between things. We did a fetch, fetch, fetch. You can see a little bit more of a slight amount of urgency to do the task, and now we take that second. It's like, hold this, don't get sloppy with it, good. You did okay with that. I'm gonna go ahead and move to this next one. We can't 100% get everything in one session. And this one is a different material. And like I, I've mentioned, he's been struggling with those the entire time. So rather than beating that into the ground, we're gonna to switch to a different one and see if we can get some good reps with that. Fetch, good. Fetch, good. Already a better hold on this guy. Nice. Fetch. Good, I'm gonna see if I can get one without my hand there now. Back up just a little bit. Fetch. Nice. Fetch. Good job. Ah, that's it. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and move to canvas here. Bigger though. Working slowly through as a progression. Good, smaller is typically easier. Nice job. Fetch, good. You can see each time we switch to a new object. I'm starting with the learning process of starting up top, then working my way back down. Starting with easy, making it more difficult, more challenging. Fetch, get my hand out of the way, nice job. Back up here, fetch, good. That's really good. Let's take a quick loop here, come here. Keeping movement in your session, hold. Hold. Nice. Now, this is gonna be a little bit more of an ask, but what he's explained thus far, I feel like, uh, or what he's shown us thus far in the session, I think is going to, says he can do this. And then we will probably call this the end. We're moving to the big boy. Fetch, good job. Ah, hold, fetch, keep in mind, you need to, at this stage in the game, we're not feeding it to him anymore. He's gotta grab that, he's gotta pull it out of my hand. Fetch, good. Fetch, uh, 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 fetch, nice. Bring here, right here, hey, hey, hey. Good job, hold, good. Good job. All right, guys, that is the end of this session. We made a really good progression with our toe hitch fetch. He's doing a fantastic job, moved through lots of different objects. We still need to work with that one specific bumper just a little bit. We will utilize those, but we're not gonna hammer that in. You saw he struggled with one item and it's just because for whatever reason, he specifically doesn't like those. We're still going to incorporate it a little bit, um, but ultimately we were able to work through all of those other objects and he did a really, really, really nice job. The next thing that we're going to be doing is birds. We need to have a frozen bird. That's gonna be the closest transition from a bumper to the bird aspect of things. And if he struggles with that, we can take a half step back and use just some wings on a bumper um, to incorporate that feather game. But he did really well with birds earlier, so I don't think we'll need the half step. We're gonna do frozen bird, then we're gonna incorporate a fresh killed bird. Um, and once we are good with that toe hitch, we'll start that transition to collar conditioning to fetch. I'm the guy with the pink gun, this is Legend, and we'll both see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.